สวัสดีครับพอยสวัสดีครับ everyone uh, the weather uh, predictions uh, were 100% uh, right because uh, I cannot even remember when was the last time uh, we get some uh, rainy days here but uh, last night uh, was how many hours uh, uh, Rain, rain session here. Yeah, about two hours. Yeah, I, we we guess two hours. Uh, but, and uh, morning again, six p.m. Yeah, yeah. So actually, we hit the six a.m. We hit the jackpot uh, while we waited this uh, garden garden project a ah. uh, little bit because. Yeah, I just quickly round this. Yeah. So all these uh, plants uh, we we put on the ground now. Uh, yesterday and before yesterday uh, got got <laughs> nice nice amount of uh, uh, rain here, as you can see. I will round this whole house now. Looks very nice. Yeah. We have still a lot to do, but uh, anyway, this is a good start now. And here we have uh, our three lemon trees, thanks to Lemon Farm Thailand. Yeah, and some birds of paradise, uh, these coming uh, much bigger, so it gives nice also sunblock uh, uh, later. <clears throat> and the same situation obviously here. Yeah, and then we put these, uh, I call these uh, Christmas trees because uh, <laughs> this looks like uh, Christmas tree when it's coming bigger almost like in Finland uh, we put now uh, one here and one here yeah all right looks nice pa. and now this is attempt to uh, we go now immigration yeah uh, ask again this, uh, or oh, not again, because yesterday immigration was closed, mm -hmm. coronation day. Uh, Today. We will now ask uh, the marriage visa requirements. So if you are interested about uh, this topic, uh, stay tuned. Let's go uh, to the immigration. Pa. Let's go. This is a phalanx style stroganoff pasta. Chop mine. Very good. Soft meat. Soft meat and good sauce for cream. Oh. Yeah, this cream sauce, sauce is very good. This was carby order. And this was Japanese potato. Sweet potato. Ah, yeah. Japanese style sweet potato soup. Yep. And Eli. Cow cooked the beef. Alright, and there is some meat. Some meat sweet. Sweet meat. Lai. We make meat. Ah, you make meat. Sausage. Yeah. Cucumber. Egg. Okay. Lemon. Make meat. Kinka. Bean. Long bean. Yeah. <laughs> and that was great lunch, uh, only about 12 euros. 482 baht. Aroi mm. mag in here. Yeah, I, I like especially uh, that uh, stroganoff pasta. Mm. It reminds me uh, how we do those also in Finland. Uh, it's, it's quite the same same style, uh, the, the cream sauce. Yeah. 
Yeah. And the meat was very soft. Yeah, very good. Yeah. They know how to do it. Yeah, these are professional chefs. Uh, mm. You can you can taste the taste the good quality always. All right. Now we go home and after that uh, we will talk about the uh, requirements of uh, marriage visa in Thailand. Stay tuned. All right, we are back home and uh, only 31 Celsius degrees today and the highest uh, highest was was today only uh, 33 Celsius degree. Yeah. Yeah. So before lunch we were uh, we have a few notes first. Uh, we have a. I'm very lucky foreigner because uh, here in Buriram uh, we have uh, two immigration uh, offices, and uh, it's only about four to five minutes uh, car drive to Chang Arena. Near Chang Arena, uh, there is a very good uh, immigration office uh, because the the main officer is very skillful uh, flexible uh, it was quite funny funny uh, uh, because yesterday was uh, that uh, immigration was closed because the the some kind of coronation day uh, it was expected that that today there were a little bit uh, more foreigners and i think there were maximum maximum uh, four or five foreigners uh, today uh, at the same time at the same time and it was quite funny when i by the way i first updated my tm30 tm30 because uh, we were uh, was it two weeks ago uh, in bangkok uh, but anyway uh, it's not now the, the topic uh, but while i sat front of the the skillful uh, immigration officer uh, at least two foreigners uh, just <laughs> uh, was stand behind my back and and gave uh, at the same time uh, i was dealing with the officer uh, they they uh, these two foreigners gave their passports and and uh, he made uh, quick corrections or something like that and uh, it's it's not that uh, that uh, that strict that strict office uh, you need to sit there and uh, stand on the line and you know these kind of things no any line numbers nothing uh, it's it's very very uh, flexible and i remember uh, when we were with Ploy uh, before today, it was last time, uh, again, these TM30 things. Uh, while I sat there at the office, uh, the main officer uh, said uh, some kind of a secretary that, uh, can you ask what I need, what I want? And I, and, and I said that, uh, I need to update my TM30. And she said, the secretary said that, uh, uh, just give give your passport and she will do it. And it was, I think, just uh, five to six minutes and they gave me back to my passport and with that uh, updated uh, TM30 slip. So yeah, uh, one more. One more example that about the flexibility, because uh, I have also been. Uh, I think it was last year. Last year, uh, or was it was it two years ago, when I didn't know yet about this this uh, smaller smaller immigrant. Yeah, so this uh, main main office is uh, usually much more much more busier office, and uh, I remember last time when I need to go there. It was long time ago. Uh, I think it it took about uh, forty five to sixty minutes there. Yeah, so you need to take line number and all, all kind of things because it's there are uh, 
uh, lot, lot more uh, foreigners, uh, customers uh, who need all kind of uh, services. Yeah, so I prefer all, always this uh, this this uh, Chang Arena uh, because uh, it's very very good service there. Yeah, but now let's go. Let's go uh, about this uh, applying now this uh, marriage marriage visa. And, and my situation might be much different than yours. And uh, I think the, the best, best thing uh, before you apply any, any visa or visa extension when you are here in Thailand is that uh, you go ask your nearest uh, immigration office about the documents you need and all kind of uh, details. Because uh, I know that uh, even even inside the Puriram, uh, between these two two immigration offices, uh, they they have little bit different uh, document setup. What they ask and how how I know that? Uh, because uh, I've, I I just uh, before today we went uh, that that uh, smaller office. Uh, I I watched. Uh, uh, the bigger YouTuber uh, who lives here, Buriram also. Uh, this uh, Life in Bamboo, Raya, Ryan and Mo. Uh, and they, uh, the Ryan uh, also uh, has this uh, marriage visa and they used uh, the bigger brand's immigration last time because uh, he made uh, video about this publicly and they showed uh, they showed uh, all all those documents and and uh, requirements uh, what they ask there and it's they, these documents are not exactly the same what they ask on this smaller office yeah so this is a uh, important note to understand that uh, it doesn't matter uh, what what uh, other people tell you that these and these are the papers and the requirements, because uh, <laughs> it's all about the Im immigration office and the officer you you must go to ask uh, which which you gonna use. So what is what is your nearest uh, immigration office? Uh, just go there and ask list of the or ask what are the all documents. And of course, uh, when it, when you are in Thailand or when we are in Thailand, uh, there might be always some changes. And uh, those changes you might not find on YouTube or even not not uh, those. Uh, official websites of the immigration uh, immigrations yeah but anyway anyway i think the biggest biggest thing or for me was one of the biggest surprises uh, leave a comment uh, if you have if you have a different uh, experience of of this but uh, my first yeah what was the mo most uh, surprising for me uh, that actually it was my first question uh, to this immigration uh, officer was that uh, can I, because I have now non-OA retirement visa, uh, which ends uh, next month, uh, 20th of June. And I asked uh, him that uh, I wanna next apply marriage visa, not anymore retirement visa. Can I do it here in Buriram? Because I had an uh, understanding, understanding or I've been told that uh, I need to make one border bounce to start this process. But now we will see how, how this goes. Uh, keep, let's keep in mind we are now in Thailand and the, actually, the officer was a little bit busy today and uh, he just uh, quite quickly uh, answered my, my questions, uh, uh, all these uh, requirements. And 
but this this first question was was really interesting because he said that yeah yeah just bring these uh, documents uh, what he said and uh, uh, come here uh, when when you have this 60 days uh, 60 days this uh, financial requirement which is 400,000 baht in my bank account it has to be there 60 days until until I can start this uh, start this uh, visa application process basically but anyway now we will see how how it goes actually uh, next month when we really face this situation well we will see uh, if it's possible or not uh, to do it without leaving the country. Well, it's not big deal actually. If I need to leave the country, uh, we will do we will do a border bounce with ploy anyway uh, to Laos or somewhere else if it's needed. But but this now it's look like that it's it's there is no any need to do border bounce uh, because here's. Uh, how I understand this process uh, uh, while this because my non OE visa uh, ending ending anyway June 20 uh, they need to give me some kind of uh, under consideration uh, visa status I have seen some kind of uh, uh, blue uh, blue 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 note papers uh, what immigration uh, give give foreigners, and then after that, I will first get ninety day, ninety day uh, visa. Uh, it that's the initial visa for the marriage, and then after that, a lot of papers and steps. After that, I can actually uh, get or apply uh, that uh, get that one year extension this is a little bit messy uh, i'm quite sure you might not uh, follow follow up what i just uh, tell you but uh, my head is also very messy because i have now uh, tried to understand this whole process uh, how it goes but uh, i think it's just uh, important no no need to overthink these kind of things because uh, I just need to now follow what the immigration officer uh, told me and uh, next month uh, when my when my uh, when I can actually update my bank book then uh, with all necessary documents I will go with ploy we go together uh, to the immigration office again and we will see now uh, what kind of uh, under consideration uh, stamp or blue note uh, I will get. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. So the of course the one of the one of the first first requirements is that uh, I'm married with the Thai person and. Uh, you might already see our or saw our uh, marriage uh, registra registration uh, trip uh, to Bangkok. So we have that we have that uh, marriage certificate uh, to show to show them, and then then of course uh, they will ask uh, they will ask uh, from my Thai wife ploy uh, ID. And then this uh, Tabian barn, which is a uh, blue house book uh, from from her, and also uh, from me, uh, they will ask my uh, yellow house book, yellow Tabian barn. And then, uh, what is interesting about this marriage visa? Uh, we need to take pictures uh, front of with and me, uh, wife and husband pictures uh, front of this this house. Uh, also, uh, backyard we need to take picture, and we need to go every room, our bedroom, living room, 
uh, kitchen and snap snap uh, pictures and and also also every room uh, so also this uh, upstairs uh, two two extra extra bedrooms yeah and then we need to take one picture of the whole family they say yeah oh he said that immigration officer yeah he also said that uh, he will come to visit uh, to our house and this visit uh, i have heard that uh, many times they do it only only uh, the first time you you apply marriage visa i know one foreigner for example here buriram uh, i think uh, he said something like that uh, after the first time uh, he applied the, and get the marriage marriage uh, visa uh, then they didn't came to check anything uh, no any house visits uh, next 10 10 years yeah but of course you cannot never know if they do those uh, home home checkings uh, house visits to check that uh, actually we live together uh, but this, uh, this I think uh, very, very easy busy small things. Uh, like I have said many times, uh, our door is always open, <laughs> our gate is always open, and uh, immigration is welcome, welcome here to visit anytime. So, so we have not nothing to nothing to hide here, of course. Yeah. Yeah, there has been also also uh, different different uh, information about this uh, uh, financial uh, requirements, and in my case, uh, they said that uh, I must uh, I must have uh, sixty days in my Thai bank account that four hundred thousand baht, and I need to bring my updated uh, bank book. Uh, to to the immigration that they can check that, yeah. I know some foreigners have have uh, faced situation that uh, it's not uh, two months prior the application. Uh, some some of the foreigners have told. I have uh, read read some uh, comments, uh, YouTube comments. People uh, have told experiences, uh, and uh, some of the immigrations. Uh, say that uh, the 400,000 baht need to be uh, three months prior the application. Yeah. So this is the, just one example again, uh, why, why should you uh, ask this, this, this uh, document list and requir requirement list uh, from your own nearest immigration. So yeah, and uh, other smaller surprises were, uh, which are a little bit different uh, than this uh, Ryan uh, life in bamboo. Uh, he said that he needed uh, not just uh, updated bank book, but also also uh, some kind of uh, bank letter, and also also some some kind of uh, two months uh, the latest uh, bank statements but in here this smaller branch uh, near chang arena uh, he said that uh, or he mentioned only this uh, updated uh, bank book also he didn't tell anything about the the map location of the of the our house uh, i have heard and seen that uh, many foreigners uh, need to hand draw uh, location of their house but uh, this was something uh, he the immigration officer uh, didn't mention at all yeah so lastly, I would like to say that uh, I will do an updated video of this, uh, of this 
applying a marriage visa here in Buriram and Thailand uh, next month because after I, I go next time uh, to the office, uh, I can be 100% sure that uh, the papers are in there and was it, was it, uh, or was there any, who knows, uh, this immigration officer uh, forget some, some papers, uh, what I need there. So we will see now uh, how smoothly it goes uh, next, next month next month uh... all right that's it nice day in Boriram today not too hot not too cold and if you have any questions or comments uh, leave down there